Software Spring Presence How to use RAID in Google Sheets Hi folks! Welcome to the tutorial on the RAID function. Here's an introduction to the RAID function. The RAID function returns the interest rate, for a loan or investment. Now, let's take a look at the format of the RAID function. Alright, let's look at an example. Number of periods is the number of payment months or years. In this example, 24 is the number of months. Payment per period is the payment to be made per month, or year. It has to be entered as a negative number, indicating it, as the cash outflow. Present value is the loan or investment amount. Future value is optional, and is the value remaining after the last payment. End or beginning is optional, and can be equal to 0 or 1. If it is 0, it means payment is due, at the end of each payment period. If it is 1, it means payment is due, at the beginning of each payment period. Rate guess is optional, and is the interest rate guess. Moving forward, here is an objective to use the rate function. To get the interest rate for the payment period of 24 months, the monthly payment of rupees 500, and a loan amount of rupees 10,000. First, I will type the loan amount in this cell. Next is the monthly payment amount, input in this cell. Remember, it has to be entered as a negative number. I will type the payment period in this cell. Alright, type the rate formula in this cell. First, type equal to symbol, and type R, A, T. Select rate from the menu. For the number of periods, click this cell. Type comma. For payment per period, click this cell. Type comma. For the present value, click this cell. Press enter. There you go. The rate function has returned the monthly interest rate. To get the yearly interest rate, multiply this by 12. Click this cell. Type equal to, and click this cell. Type the multiplication operator, and type 12. Press enter. Here is the yearly interest rate. Say, now you want to get the interest rate for the payment period of 36 months, the monthly payment of rupees 700, and, a loan amount of rupees 20,000. Just copy this row, paste it here, change the numbers, and press enter. OK, the rate function has returned the interest rate. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.